happy at the moment. Uh, it's just a, a, a constant reminder that um, outside of Ramadan, um, a lot of people, they have abundant food. And while you're fasting, you realize that throughout the, the year, you know, um, we're just eating continuously and we don't actually think about it. It's just like, you have a drink here, you have a food, uh, eat here. Sometimes you even eat when you're bored, you know? And um, as the Ramadan is going on, it's realizing to you, it, it, it's bringing close to you the people who are fasting involuntary. I think when you are aware of your need or when you, when you humble yourself, I think that's when you, you will become more aware of Allah and you are able to appreciate his magnitude and appreciate his mercies. And when you think about him, so many times in the society we just don't think about God. What's to think about? We're surrounded by high rises and buildings and all this stuff that we did, supposedly. We're always reminded of man's magnificence. And that's why with the Muslim, every, every movement that you make almost is something that it can be worship. When you're fasting during Ramadan, this breakfast in the morning, it's very, very important because there's a lot of blessing in it. So uh, it's actually very important. So it's part of the Ramadan. For me personally, to miss this, it's like I haven't fasted during my day. So I don't feel well if I, I don't feel good if I haven't uh, got up to, to do the breakfast in the morning because it's part of it, it's part of the fun. We're so blessed outside of this month to be eating all the time, eating all the time, all the time. It just makes you reflect. And it's not just about also, um, eating uh, food is also about everything especially like um, from the time we start fasting to the time we break our fast also if you're married for the brothers that are married they're not supposed to have sexual relations if they're married as well so it's not just um, the, the eating and so forth it's a lot of things even just normally as Muslims we're not supposed to lie we're not supposed to cheat we're not supposed to be rude but in Ramadan it's extra special. So rarely do we marvel at the world, even though we know so much more about the world than people in the past did. People in the past had no idea what was happening under the sea. They had no idea of how you know, birds' wings work. They had no idea of how plants pollinated. We know, but we're not in awe. And I think it's that awe that puts it in perspective and puts really what we do